Why Marie Curie had to be buried twice. Marie Curie discovered two new elements, polonium and radium. Both were highly radioactive. Curie died from aplastic anemia in 1937. This rare condition was the result of radiation exposure. Marie Curie and her husband Pierre didn't realize the danger. They studied the new elements with no protection. Marie carried bottles of polonium and radium in her pocket. She stored them in her desk drawer. In fact, the Curies believed radiation to be beneficial. This was a common misconception at the time. Radium bath salts were used to treat insomnia. Radium-laced energy drinks were widely sold. Today, Marie Curie's belongings are housed at the Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris. You can visit the Pierre and Marie Curie collection, but first, you must sign a liability waiver. To handle any of the papers, you have to put on protective clothing. The items are kept in special boxes. The boxes are reinforced with lead. They will remain radioactive for 1,500 years. Marie and Pierre's remains are dangerous too. They were buried at the Sceau so Cemetery in Paris. Pierre died 28 years earlier than Marie. In 1995, their remains were transferred to the Pantheon. It houses the remains of notable French icons. But the Curie's remains were interred in inch-thick lead coffins. They're still unsafe because of radium-226 contamination. It's the most stable isotope of radium, so it will still be dangerous for hundreds of years. A bigger problem is Curie's abandoned lab. Marie's research center was located in Arcoy, a village south of Paris. Today, it's grown into a crowded working-class suburb. The dilapidated lab is sometimes called Chernobyl on the Seine. It closed down in 1978, but it's brimming with radioactivity. The wall is topped by barbed wire. Surveillance cameras are mounted all around. Local officials regularly test the river. Most sources of radiation were removed in 1992. The cleanup has cost about 10 million euros so far, but it is far from over.